This is Coogan Cassius for iForm London. Um, we're in Times Square here in New York um, for the press conference between Gavin Rees and Adrian Broner. With me I've got trainer to Gavin Rees, Gary Lockett. You alright Gary? How are you doing? Cool going? Alright? I'm alright. Uh, a bit of a fiery press conference. Gavin had a lot to say and then um, Adrian had a lot to say in the end as well. Yeah, it's just disrespect, isn't it? You know, when when Mayweather does it, it's quite cool, but this guy is just, he's just something else, isn't he? Um, you know, we're respectful people. We don't like to sort of <laughs> react how Gavin reacts to them, but what are you supposed to do, you know, when people are trying to um, humiliate you? It's, it's difficult, isn't it? Um, did you sort of have an idea before you come to the press conference that things might go this way with the way Adrian Broner is and, you know, Gary, G Gavin's very fiery himself and couldn't really be in a position to hold his tongue there could he no not really but I don't think uh, a fight's ever been won outside of the ring is it so let's just see what happens on Saturday Gavin's got a great chance you know this you know they're underestimating him you know massively I mean listen Gary I haven't got to go on about what people saying about him being an underdog but you as a trainer you firmly believe in your head that Gavin can go over and just and do this yeah, I just, I just think that, um, don't get me wrong, you know, Broner's a class fighter, of course he is, but he's he's had the right matches to make him look good, you know, I mean, DeMarco, even though he would have been a fight for anyone, he stood right in front of me, he had no footwork at all, he stood right in front of me, did exactly what Broner wanted him to do. Um, but with Gavin, he's so awkward and he, he shows such different angles and he's so short as well. He turns that um, lack of size to his advantage, so he's, he's got all the tools to give him major problems. It's been um, a long training camp for you and for you and Gavin. Um, he's been away from his his children and and everything. So it must be difficult coming over here. Like I said, settling in. You would have been here five weeks uh, in all. So you know, how's that gone in general, Gary? I think it's gone like clockwork. You know, obviously it's, it's been the boredom factor has been massive. Um, but we've been training twice a day, um, running Central Park. Uh, lots of sprints, um, quite a bit of sparring a few weeks ago. Actually, cut off sparring about two and a half weeks ago. Um, but you know, his pad work and everything, he's improving all the time. You know, and he's he's very very confident for this fight. All right. So, what's the plan now? But obviously, we're Tuesday now. Fights on Saturday. What's the plan now between now and Saturday? Well, he's ready now. He did um, he did a hard session Monday, um, and then we'll just we'll just um, sort of taper it off now. Just get rid of it, the last bit, little bit of weight, and then it's fight night Saturday. Obviously, we head down to Atlantic City today, so we'll settle in there today, and uh, he'll be ready for Saturday then. All right, Gary. Listen, thank you very much for talking away from London. Listen, we wish you and Gavin the best of luck. We're, the whole of the UK is, is behind Gavin, and let's, let's hope Saturday night he can pull it off. Yeah, thanks, Coogan. Thanks a lot. Right. Coogan Cassius here with Gary Lockett for iFilm London. Thank you very much. <laughs>